Hi everyone, it's Heather and I'm here in San Francisco on a long weekend with Adventures by Disney. Remember I did the one day taster trip earlier in the year and I said how much I loved it? Well, I wasn't kidding. I'm back to do the full adventure and I want to show you all the fun that's included and all the value that's included with an Adventures by Disney vacation. So if you're on the fence about whether or not this is for you, pay attention because I think you're going to like it. Let's go. The hardest part about taking an Adventures by Disney trip is waiting on the plane for it to start. Once you reach your destination, ABD handles everything you need. Like car service from the airport to your hotel. Let me tell you, it's so nice not to have to worry about all of these details. In San Francisco, you'll stay at the gorgeous Omni Hotel in the heart of the financial district. It's a stunning hotel and the rooms are incredible, but don't get too comfortable. It's time to head to our first excursion. So our first adventure on this trip was to bike along the waterfront here in San Francisco. And this is what I was most looking forward to. I love a good bike ride. I love the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm hoping we get to ride across it, but it's a bit windy out, so I don't think that we will. But the great thing about Adventures by Disney is that if you don't want to bike or you don't want to get active, there's alternative options for you. So we have plenty of people that stayed back on the motor coach and are doing a sightseeing tour of the city. Up the more hilly parts where we can't go on these bikes. So it's really cool and you don't have to feel like you have to do something you're uncomfortable with. This is all included in the cost of your trip. It's great. Biking to the Golden Gate Bridge was so much fun and the view was outstanding. I could have kept biking for hours. All that biking worked up my appetite, so it was off to MY China for an eight course meal. The food here is fantastic, and after a quick lesson on how to use chopsticks courtesy of my adventure guide, which I completely failed, it was time to dig in. My favorite was the house-made bao buns and Peking roast duck. Delish! MY China also features a fun atmosphere with its chefs performing noodle tossing for everyone to see. Day two started bright and early as we headed north to see the famous giant redwood trees. One of the stops you'll make on your tour is Muir Woods, and it is so beautiful here. It is peaceful, relaxing, and majestic. Just look at these trees. I could have spent all day here, but it was time for one of my very favorite parts of the trip, Napa Valley. Here, we visited the Silverado Winery. Silverado has a Disney connection. It's the winery owned by the late Diane Disney Miller and her husband, Ron Miller, and we were given a complete tour of the winery. It smells like wine, and that's my happy place. After our tour, it was time for an amazing lunch, and of course, wine tasting. Next, it was time to do something I've always wanted to do, grape stomping. Guys, where else can you stomp grapes but Napa Valley? I'm so excited for this, I cannot wait. That was disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. I had so much fun and only Adventures by Disney would bring in a company to do this for us. But it was really slimy and cold and gross and my hand is now covered in grape skin. But I can say, 
that I have stomped some grapes, and that was fantastic. <laughs> Sadly, this day couldn't last forever, as much as I wanted it to. Day three began with a short ferry ride to Angel Island, the immigration port of the early 1900s for the West Coast. It was here that immigrants seeking out the hope and prosperity of a better life in America arrived to begin their journey. After exploring the tranquil views of Angel Island, we headed to my favorite spot in all of San Francisco, the Presidio. Here, we made a stop at the Letterman Digital Arts Center, better known as the home to Lucasfilm and Industrial Light and Magic. After snapping some photos of the Star Wars costumes and props on display, we headed to the last stop on our Bay Area tour, the Walt Disney Family Museum. The Walt Disney Family Museum is a spectacular look at Walt's life away from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood and shows you the man behind the company. The museum also has rotating exhibits you can see as well. We took a look at a stunning exhibit of artwork from Ivan Earl on display in the exhibition hall. Thank you so much for joining me on my weekend in San Francisco with Adventures by Disney. I had a great time and I hope it gives you a good idea of what Adventures by Disney has to offer. Now, I know that a guided tour is not for everybody. Some people are nervous traveling with others that they don't know or maybe being on somebody else's time schedule. But I think these long weekends that Adventures by Disney offers is a great opportunity to get acclimated with a guided tour to see if it fits your travel style. If you have any questions at all about this particular adventure or Adventures by Disney in general, I am so happy to answer them for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Heather, and I'll see you next time. Bye!